third, we in the third, rule of thirds, hi, this is your boy G-R-E-J-S-M, oh, and uh, yeah, I want to talk to you guys about my unhealthy relationship with doctors, so, I understand that doctors are medical professionals who've gone to school for a very long time, and they know a lot about medicine, and the human body, and all the ins and outs, and things like that, and they can help diagnose uh, and even treat and prevent certain uh, sicknesses and ailments and things like that. Okay, I do not deny that, but I have had uh, an experience with a uh, doctor's office, which shall remain nameless, where uh, at the time I was I was young. I was about 26 or 28, and, uh, you know, I was a little bit overweight then, not as much as I am now, but uh, I started thinking about, well, so, so I was working um, as a teacher, um, as a coach, not a teacher, but a substitute teacher, I think I was coaching or maybe doing an after school program, one or the other, and I was also working at uh, UPS. And I was a supervisor at night. Um, and I was drinking a ton of energy drinks. Um, I was having problems in my marriage. Uh, I felt like I was always, you know, just arguing and yelling. Um, you know, I had a young child. And I just always felt stressed out. And I think I went to the doctor for like strep throat or something. Or some something I had. My blood pressure was high. And uh, they said I was a borderline diabetic. And I was like, okay. And they said, well, you know, we'll come back in uh, a couple months and we'll check your blood pressure again. I went back. It was still high. I think I went back a third time and it was still, like, not super high, but just a little bit high. And uh, that's when the nurse practitioner said, well, we need to put you on some type of, you know, blood pressure medicine. And I said, oh. I said, well, can't I just, you know, eat better and, and, you know, diet and exercise and do those kind of things and it'll bring the blood pressure down so I wanted to take the medicine. And she looked at me and she said, no, you're going to take the medicine for the rest of your life. And that struck me as kind of odd because at that point I had not seen um, some of the things uh, that I've seen now where, you know, people have reversed, um, you know, their blood pressure and diabetes and I mean, people who even cure themselves of Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and all kind of things. Uh, they've suppressed their lupus. They've they've done a ton of things simply, you know, through their diet and, and fasting and, you know, the, uh, you know, detoxifying and, you know, alkalinity. All these different things that people have done to help, you know, improve their overall health and this this, uh, she wasn't the doctor, she was a nurse practitioner. This nurse practitioner had told me I was going to be on blood pressure medicine for the rest of my life. Now, my mother had also went to this same doctor's office, and she was on a ton of different medication. Um, she had, like, you know, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. She takes a pill for this, a pill for her diabetes, a pill for, um, her, uh, Crohn's disease, a pill for... For, you know, this thing, that thing. She's had surgeries and this valve and that. And I'm like, stints. And I'm like, geez, you're like cutting and sewing my mom all up. And I started to think, if I listen to you, am I going to be like my mom? You know, my dad, I don't ever hear him talk about anything like that. Now, my dad is, he, he's a different build of a person. He's, he's tall, he's thin. Uh, he doesn't have the weight issues that I have. Uh, he does have the appetite that I have, but he just doesn't have the weight issues. So I had thought about it, and I said, oh, okay. And she sent the prescription over to uh, the pharmacy, and I never went to pick it up. And then after that, I never went back to that doctor's office. I, I went back to go get my uh, medical records. Actually, I didn't even go there. My wife went. But I never went back to that doctor's office because... Um, I just thought they were, you know, lying to me. And um, I went and got my blood pressure checked and everything. 
uh, a couple years later after, so I went vegan, and, uh, you know, in 2015, went vegan, I was vegan for about a year and a half, I got my blood pressure checked while I was vegan, it was normal, and I started to think to myself, why would she lie to me like that, like, why wouldn't you just tell me the truth, you can reverse certain things, if you, you know, really put your mind to it and really focus on it. And maybe, you, and it's going to say, listen, but judging by, you know, past habits, it's really, it's going to be either hard or impossible for you to do based off of past habits. If you change your habits, if you make a sincere commitment to this diet and lifestyle of eating healthy and eating clean, yes, you can reverse it and you will not have to take this medication. Now, she didn't say that. And that kind of honesty I expect from somebody who has my health in their hands. And she, she didn't give me that. So now, um, you know, I have since learned that doctors receive like like a cut of like, or a check from, you know, certain prescriptions that they uh, that they use. Those um, pharmaceutical companies, they actually pay doctors to, you know, kind of push their drugs like the drug pusher, <laughs> the plug. And that kind of struck me as like, you know, like, yeah, this is messed up. Why would you do this to me? This is my health. And she didn't care. And that's when I really don't, you know, I, I told myself, I'm not going back to the doctor. Like, here's the thing. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, um, irritable bowels, uh, what's another one, uh, uh, acid reflux, um, bad acne, uh, you're always getting sick, you always have like phlegm and mucus in your body and you're breaking out and stuff like that, you're probably eating the wrong foods. Now, what are the right foods for you? I can't tell you, I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't know that much, but I do know that you're probably eating the wrong foods. I can almost guarantee you that you're eating the wrong foods. Um, and that's something that I think we all need to learn about ourselves. What work, what food works best for our bodies? And I just, I don't think that a doctor who sees me for 15 to 20 minutes, maybe once, twice, three times a year is going to know anything about me other than what the chart shows him. And the chart only shows you how things look right now. Um, so yeah, I, I don't go to doctors. Now, if I fall and break a leg or, or you know, I'm throwing up blood for like a day or two, you know, fuck it, if I'm throwing up blood at all, I'm going to go see, you know, I'm, you know, doctor or the hospital or something like that. You know, there there are certain extents. But if it's something like, oh, um, you know, my stomach has been hurt for a couple of days, I might just stop eating. If my stomach, let's say right now I got this pain in my stomach. I'm like, oh, man, damn. I'm going to go drink some water. I'm not going to eat for the rest of the day. Um, you know, I might not eat the next day. If that pain continues, like, one or two days, okay, cool, I'll go see a doctor. But I'm not going to go to the doctor right away because it's probably something like, I don't know, something that didn't digest well, you know? Uh, I heard a story from a friend, and they said they had gas. And I said, well, what did they do? Oh, they gave me some pain medication and told me, you know, these movements to do. But that's not, a, like, to me, that's not a doctor thing. It's a diet thing. You know, something you ate gave you, you know, gas. And because it didn't come out, that gas needs to come out. Farting, pooping, peeing, burping, all that stuff needs to come out. If you go to bed, let, let's, okay, so you, so... As a standard American, you're eating a you know regular American diet. You know maybe you, you eat fast food once and again. You may have some bacon, some eggs, cheese for breakfast. You know something like that. Uh, maybe like a box cereal, maybe a sandwich. You know a little chicken. You know sandwich or whatever. You know some mayo. You know those kind of things. A lot of those foods are acidic. Okay. I know that I eat acidic food. My, listen, when people say, you know, are, you, your diet is perfect. No, no, my diet is fucked up. Excuse my English. 
But I also know that if it came down to like a like an act, I know I don't want to say how do I say this. I don't want to say if it came down to a health issue because it is a health issue, you know, I'm overweight. But if it came down to where it's like, like in my mind, as soon as that that switch flicks, damn yo, I'm really killing myself. Then I'll begin to change. Um, and then you have to ask yourself, is it worth the change? Is living a little bit longer worth the change um, that I have to do? You know, if, if I change my diet. I know that I'm not going to be able to uh, be around family as much because they're going to want to eat a certain type of food, and I'm not. Um, friends, you know, will you know try to offer me stuff, and I'm like, no, because I don't eat that kind of food. And then the temptation gets harder. So is it worth it? And a lot of times for me, the answer is no. It's just not worth it. So um, I go ahead and, and I, I slip up and I eat the wrong food. So I know that about me. Um, and, uh, that, like, that has to be something that you're willing to accept. Yo, I ain't going front, you know what I'm saying? Nigga living. It's about time. C&P. Shit is going my way, you know what I mean? There ain't nothing like it. Yeah. It ain't nothing like paying the bills on time. Enough dough left to know that we still gonna shine, but it's never enough. So-